Hey guys, this is the Better Editor. I'm coming at you guys with a solo solo lobby glitch in Red Dead Online. All the previous methods have not been patched, so I'm basically going to cover uh, one of the same ones that I've already uploaded. But the thing is, is that on the last one that I uploaded, on the permanent one that I put up with the gang hideout thing, a lot of people were upset saying that there's so many steps. I don't necessarily see how there's so many steps. I mean, explain to me how there is. I mean, it was like a three or four step process. Kind of like any other glitch that you would do in any other game, unless it's GTA, then you're going to be reading a textbook on how to do a glitch. Also, I call this a solo, solo lobby because it is a solo lobby that you obtain solo by yourself. And I did get a question on the last video that I made about a solo lobby, why I said it was a, they said, it's a solo lobby, not a solo, solo lobby. People get the wrong idea if I don't say solo, solo lobby. It is a solo, solo lobby because it is a solo lobby that you can perform solo like you can obtain solo i just wanted to get that out of the way and i need to go ahead and shut up what you want to do if you've never done anything like this before uh if you're getting infinite loading screens still this is what you want to do and i mean at any time in going into change appearance uh finding a new session going into the moonshine stuff whatever if you're getting infinite loading screens do this before you attempt this i just hit my hand you want to restart and start from the home page of the game okay once you have started from the home page of the game, you just want to start up the elimination series or what it doesn't matter what it is, just start it up. And once you start up the PvP series, once you load into it, just quit out of it. Doesn't matter if you're in it, at the pregame lobby, whatever, just quit out of it. Once you load into the game world, I recommend, I mean you can go anywhere. I just go to any stranger that has the on the hunt mission, but if you don't know who has one, to make it easy on you, just go ahead and go to McFarland's Ranch. She typically has it, not all the time, it's not a guarantee you'll get it, but she does have it. So what you want to do after you load back into the session uh, from the change appearance menu, you want to go ahead and make your way to McFarland's Ranch, so go ahead and just fast travel there. Once you are there, just pick any random spot throughout the ranch and hold the triangle or Y button to rest. I don't know what button it is on PC because I don't play on mouse and keyboard when I play on PC. Now, once you are resting, open up your, uh, what's it called, the interaction menu, and then go to online options and turn social matching to off, and then go ahead and go into change appearance. Once you do that, you're going to load into this menu, okay? Once you load into this menu, you can either sit here for 15 seconds or 3 minutes. Once you back out and you're in a session, if you're not in a session by yourself, stay here for longer, like 3 to 5 minutes if you have to. I, I don't think it has anything to do with internet speed because I am wired and I have like a 250 download. So I don't think if, if it's like if you have fast internet speed, I don't think it's going to pair you with people. I mean, because my internet is decently fast. Once you have sat in there for 10 seconds or 3 minutes, however long, back out. You should load into a lobby by yourself. You're not done yet though because this lobby can populate anytime it wants to basically. So what you want to do after this is just go over to Miss Bonnie. And any mission that she has, accept it, and you'll be in a solo the entirety of that mission. But the reason why I was talking about On the Hunt earlier was because if you have On the Hunt, and if she has it, rather, and you accept it like I did in this footage, the mission doesn't have a timer. Every other mission does, like a caravan escort or whatever it may be. I think every other mission does besides this one. I could be wrong, though. I don't know everything about this game. But once you start up that mission, you'll be in that solo the whole time that the mission is going down. So, there you go. That's all you gotta do. I know it may seem like a lot while you're watching this, but to break it down in the simplest form possible, step one, load into a PvP session at the home screen of the game. Back out of it, and once you get into that session, you want to go to McFarland's Ranch. I guess technically that could be two steps. I, I forgot to say step two. Uh, step two would be going to McFarland's Ranch. Once you go to McFarland's Ranch, step three, rest. Turn social matching off, go into the uh, change appearance menu, and then back out after about three minutes. Step four, start up the mission from Bonnie. There you go. Four steps. That's really all there is to it. It took me not even 10 minutes to record the footage to get this thing and the video is going to be like five minutes long less than five minutes long i don't know though because my outro is like 30 seconds but i'm i'm done talking i'm done with the video if you guys like this video give it a like if you dislike this video give it a dislike uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this like red dead online solo money glitches or solo money methods go ahead and hit the sub button and you will see more um i'm sorry i sound a little bit different not like sound different but i am talking different 
I'm just pretty tired. It's like 2 in the morning. I was out hanging out with my friends pretty late. I'm just ready to go to bed and get something to eat. But I'm going to edit this video and get that done real quick because we grind. We grind over here on the Better Editor channel. It was probably loud when I said that. I apologize. But other than all that stuff, <coughs> my voice died. But other than all that stuff, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.